This human form of life is meant for self-realization. This life is not meant for working hard like cats and dogs and hogs for sense gratification. No, this life is not meant for that purpose. We have got developed consciousness, intelligence. We should ask, what is this life? Ah. The Bhagavad says, Parabhavastavad Abhodhajata. We are ignorant. We are born ignorant. And we are doing so many things, activities. We are engaged. But we should see whether we are gaining or losing, whether we are conquering or we are being defeated. That should be our business to see. So, how to test it? The Bhagavad says, so long you do not come to the platform of understanding yourself, whatever you are doing, it is simply defeat, zero. Zero has no value. If you go on adding zero, 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 zero million times, the value is zero. But if there is zero and put on the left side one, it becomes immediately ten. Therefore, according to, not according, every, every one reasonable man can understand that what I am doing, what I am gaining. In your country especially I see there is so much frustration amongst the young stars. They are finding that this is zero. Somewhere or other they are trying to realize that this sort of life is zero. Actually, human life simply increasing the demands of our senses. These activities are zero activities. Parabhava, defeating. Javanna jiggasa tehatmatatta. When a human being, as long as a human being does not inquire what I am, why I am suffering, I do not wish to die, why death is forced upon me, I do not want to be diseased. Why disease is forced upon me? I do not want to become old. Why I become old? I do not wish to die. Why? I, these things are very important questions. Ah, that is called atma tatya, self-realization. Human life is meant for this purpose, inquiring self-realization. And if we do not inquire, then we are no better than animals. Animals have no power to inquire about his self. He is simply busy with the problems of the body, eating, sleeping, mating and defending. Similarly, a human body is also engaged simply for eating, sleeping, mating and defending. That is not very uh, good civilization. That is not at all human civilization. Human civilization is meant for understanding oneself, what I am, and act according to that. So, Bhagavad says, if we do not come to that point of understanding myself, then whatever I am doing or acting, this is simply defeat or simply waste of time. At the same time, there is warning that we should not waste even a single moment of our life. Uh, please try to understand uh, these Vedic instructions, uh, how nice they are. There is a great politician 
of the name Janakapandi. Uh, he was Prime Minister of Emperor uh, Chandragupta, a contemporary to the reign of Alexander the Great in Greece. Uh, so he was Prime Minister of that Emperor Chandragupta and he has many moral instruction uh, and uh, social instructions. In one of his verses, uh, he says that Ayusa Chanayokopi Nalabhya Sarnakoti Vik. Ayusa of your duration of life. Uh, suppose you are twenty years old. Today is nineteenth uh, May, and there was four p.m. Now, at this time, uh, four p.m. ninetieth May, nineteen sixty-nine, gone. You can never get it back, even if you are prepared to pay millions of dollars. Just try to understand. Similarly, even a moment of your life is wasted for nothing, simply in the matter of sense gratification, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, then you do not know the value of your life. You cannot get back even a moment of your life by paying millions of dollars. Just try to understand how much valuable is your life. So our Krishna consciousness movement is to let people know how much valuable life is his and utilize it in that way. Our movement is sarve sukhina vavantu. Everyone become be happy. Not only human society, even animal society. 